very fairly contested match here. Both of these men, obviously, lucha specialists. And I suspect there will be a show of respect here at the beginning. There we go. Handshake between the two. This is a big opportunity for Fuego right now. Yeah, this is an outstanding opportunity for, for uh, El Fuego to be able to compete someone at the level of experience, the level of ability of Ruben to. I mean, El Fuego, obviously a tremendous participant himself and, and really the resident luchador, if you will, for, for world class and getting a lot of national recognition for his abilities. But, I mean, when you step in the ring with someone like uh, Ruben to Guerrero... Oh, man, look at that! Whoa, over the top lands on his feet! You ain't got to step out of the ring for that one. He's just going to go ahead and flip over that top rope out of the ring for you. As I was saying, the opportunity says Juventud takes Fuego down. The opportunities that Fuego have gotten perhaps now are going to be even greater if he's able to pull a victory out over the, a legend like Juventud Guerrero. Well, it ain't going to happen when you get caught during a midair springboard drop kick. And it looks like Juve knew what was coming as he hit a drop kick of his own. Reverse Mexican whip, head scissors takedown, and then an arm drag to boot, and right back into a submission hold. As the legend of Lucha, Lutu Guerrero, the juice, showing what has made him so successful over several decades in professional wrestling. He has not lost a step, everything there crisp and clean the way that he would want it to be. As Lutu Guerrero has put El Fuego down here has kept him from being able to get that vertical base underneath him, has kept him away from the corner posts. And doing exactly what you should do, cutting the, cutting the ring off to your advantage. Guerrero now with a standing wrist lock. And it's a strong standing wrist lock there. Look at that, look how we're moving to just wrenching on there. Yeah, Fuego actually forced to his knees, trying to find some way to, to get out of this. As you can see, Guerrero just applying just a slight bit of different pressure. Oh, a couple of, uh, a nip up there by El Fuego. And Fuego now interlacing the fingers. Going to use those corner posts. And, oh, wow, my Lord, the innovation there. Her Carrera by El Fuego. Good Lord. And just like that, the match is reversed in tone. That's Fuego now with a pin. Two and only good for two. Fuego definitely bringing his A game. Knew, knew what he had in store tonight, knew that he had a tall task ahead of him, but it seems like he's actually rising to the occasion. Fuego gonna charge in, intercepts the boot, but moving to the head back to the midsection and the European forearm fights Fuego out. Now, moving to interlocking the fingers himself. Say, if you can do it, I can do one better. Let's see what Hoover oh, does there. But look at that, Fuego caught Hoovy. But Hoovy landed on his feet on the apron. Fuego again trying, oh man, just driving Fuego head first into the ring apron and to the outside. Fans, this action so fast, almost impossible to call those moves as they're hit in such rapid succession. And that's the Lucha style that Juventud Guerrero, people like him, like Eddie Guerrero, like Chavo Jr., like Rey Mysterio. Oh, wow, look at that. And then I wondered about this because it was so weird to me seeing Juventud wear the mask that he lost in WCW all those years ago. He still will go out and sport it around. It's his choice as to whether or not he decides to compete with or without it on. Hoovy started off this match with the war mask, but then as we see now, I guess him taking off, it's it's almost like the strap's coming down. You mean business now. And moving to now, Irish Rip reversed there. Oh, caught and sends Fuego in. Fuego up and over, sunset flip. Hoovy out of that. Hoovy drops the feet. Oh, oh hits him straight wow. in the side of the face. We saw that El Fuego expected the drop kick. Hoovy just moved his arms and kicked him straight in the head. Brain muster by Hoovy. And I don't know if it was, I didn't think it was actually possible, but the pace of this match has actually turned up. It was already, I thought, it at 10. Now it's about an 18. Oh, you really raising the bar there. I mean, you? Well, did you see? Did you see how quickly those moves were put, were put together? And now. Moving to just going for a simple reverse chin lock, but with Fuego down on the mat, this is going to apply all the more pressure 
to El Fuego and to prevent him from being able to breathe properly can certainly keep him locked down and unable to get that vertical base underneath him and pre prevent much of his offensive wares from being used. Well, I think people forget that even though Hubatuga is a specialty in high flying, he definitely knows how to control you on the ground as well. Don't ever underestimate the basic wrestling skills of oh, Hubatuga. Oh, Look at that. Nice lucha roll there by, by Hubi. Oh, what a nice tilt a little backbreaker from Fuego. And Fuego says, that's great, I'll do it again. Do you think he might go for third time's a charm? I don't think so. I think he's got something different in mind here. Esfrego out of the corner. Diving splash, nobody hold. Hoovy with a running close line. Up and Esfrego up and over. And Hoovy now goes for the pin, hooks the leg, two. But still cannot keep the youngster down. God, both these men got to be physically exhausted here with our quick that this match has started off and then, as you said, it just has seemingly been raised as the course of the match continues. I don't know how much either of these men are gonna have left in them. Moving to now setting Fuego up. Fuego floats over to the back. Maybe gonna go for a German suplex. Moving to reverses. Elbow shot by Fuego. Breaks out of that and runs straight into a chop by Hugo. We're like a four on that. Well, okay, that may be the case, in which case they're trading him back and forth. Oh, now this time, Fuego from behind. Fuego stops in front. Hootie up, standing up. Excuse me, Fuego standing. Her come around into a pinfall situation. Hoovy reverses as well. Just one, one pinfall scenario into another. This is number five here. This is, well, Fuego breaks out of it. No time for this, for the, oh, look at that. They're both trying to anticipate each other. And double close line, both men down. That's what I was going to say. That's what started all that exchanging of pinfalls to begin with, was you saw Hoovy came off of the ropes. Fuego was originally going to expect Hoovy to dip low, and I think Fuego was going to try to stop him. Hoovy thought he was going to do the leapfrog. Both of them halted their tracks in a great defensive maneuver from both, and it ended up to where we are now. Both been trying to read the match, and neither one of them being able to solve the other. And that says a lot, I mean, obviously for Juventud, but really a lot for El Fuego, that he is able to match minds and match strategy with a veteran like Juventud Guerrero, as these two now just trading forearm shots in the middle oh, ring, wow. spin kick there by Juvi. As Juvi gonna go ram the head, nope. Hoovy is reversed, but Hoovy slides through those ropes. Fuego comes up with nothing. Hoovy up to the top rope, off the top, nice cross body. Oh, uh, look at that, rolls right through. Yeah, Hoovy doesn't stop to try for the pin. Hoovy driver, Hoovy driver, Hoovy driver, that's it right there. Two, no, oh, wow. he kicked out of the Hoovy driver. That move has put so many opponents for Hoovy to go away. It won him numerous cruiserweight title. And Hoovantu could not keep El Fuego down with the Hoovy driver. And he came from literally out of nowhere from that, rolled through the cross body that he landed from the top row, straight into the Hoovy driver. El Fuego, props to you for kicking out. Now, a sling blade back breaker into the face planter. And Fuego rolled up Hoovy to L. Oh, wow. Again, so And Fuego not about to let this opportunity pass himself by. As Fuego maybe gonna look for a slice bread number two. Up, oh, no, Hoovy counter it. Oh wow, look at Hoovy counter it. Him upside down. Hoovy driver, Hoovy driver. I think this is it here. Yes, it is. Yes. Moving to Gorilla.